hello my dear friends i welcome you all on my youtube channel how are you all good okay so friends here i am again in front of you with one more exciting and fun filled topic and by the way the title itself has this word fun in it any guesses what we are going to do today okay so it's the very first topic of our book beehive from class 9 and okay so the topic is i'm going to tell you that the topic is the fun they had okay so those who have read this chapter have the idea that this chapter shows comparison between old school and a school in future so very precisely we are going to see the comparison between these two okay and i'm sure that this topic would be or this a uh, video would be so helpful to you in understanding the chapter and everything would be clear okay so like uh, uh, teams in cricket or in any other sport uh, we have two teams here also that one is of old school and one is of new school or you can say a future uh, a school in future okay so we are going to see the comparison in terms of these two okay so first we are going to see teachers in old school versus teachers in new school so first teachers were human beings as we all know that uh, we are going to a, a school where we have human beings as teachers so uh, in the time of old school teachers were there as human beings or human beings were there as teachers okay uh, and now we see that teachers in school in new school how they are children are taught by mechanical teacher so there is an existence of mechanical teacher so uh, in the chapter it is shown that uh, uh, two students are there marji and uh, tommy and they used to have mechanical teacher and the second uh, comparison is Uh, in old school teachers had a special building and all the kids go there so as we are also having all the kids or as a student we also used to go to uh, a building to a special building and we used to uh, be taught by our teachers there in that building there as teachers in new school what happens mechanical teacher is present in their house only uh, in any room uh, the setup is there and mechanical teacher teaches them now the third comparison is teachers gives uh, same homework to all students this is uh, quite uh, normal that we are uh, sitting in uh, in a class and all the uh, students like us they will get same homework whereas what is happening in this school or uh, uh, the school of future the pace and level of the teacher can be adjusted as per the child's requirement and what happens the pace and the level can be adjusted by teacher according to the level or the requirement of a child okay so these are the comparisons or these are the uh, distinguished features of old school and a new one okay a uh, new one means what is going to happen in the future and uh, as uh, it is shown in this chapter we can say now uh, we are going to see the difference between old schools and new schools Uh, earlier we have seen the difference between teachers now we are going to see the difference between schools schools that means the old school and the new school or school in future how it will be and how it it is shown in the chapter so the first difference is children go to big big building as i have told you earlier that in old schools there was a special building and teacher uh, teacher and students used to go there so there is uh, an existence of big building whereas in uh, school in future what happens here students are taught in their bedrooms or any rooms as virtual classrooms okay so it can be set up in their uh, uh, in their maybe in their bedrooms or maybe any room of their house and they uh, are having virtual classrooms in their house only now the second difference is all the students get some uh, same homework and study the same subject and what happens in old schools that all the kids are getting same homework and they are taught they are studying the same subject 
and whereas in this uh, school of future and school in future what happens slots are given for students to put their homework and slots are given to them uh, slots uh, means uh, particular hours or the time is given to them and uh, on that time or till that time they have to submit their homework now the third difference is children studied and played together old school big building is there special building is there all the kids are coming there they are studying together and they are playing together whereas in school in future as i have told you that they are having virtual classrooms in their house only so students don't have any companion and no playground is there okay so somewhat uh, monotonous and uh, 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 without any fun kind of environment is there in these kind of classes now the last comparison which we are going to see here this is old books and books in future schools so uh, up till now we have seen old um, teachers schools in old schools sorry uh, teachers in old schools and teachers in uh, future schools and we after that we saw that uh, what kind of uh, 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 classes would be there what kind of schools will be there so we have seen comparison between old schools and schools in future and now the third one is old books and books in future schools so old books books are printed on papers as we are also uh, we all are also having or we have read in our uh, we have read our chapters our subjects in uh, we can say uh, printed papers were there in the books whereas the books are not printed on papers in future schools now second difference is words in the old books not moving and as we uh, we can see that any textbook is there uh, we can see that words uh, will not move in their uh, pages the words move on a tv computer tv or computer screen as they are having e books so uh, what is the uh, Uh, we can say what is the medium medium is tv or computer and the words uh, tend to move on the screen um, now uh, comparison number 3 the pages had turned yellow and crinkly and it could not last longer and now it is a matter of uh, uh, understanding and matter of uh, uh, concern that uh, after some time Uh, the pages of these books or these textbooks will be uh, yellow and crinkly and uh, it cannot survive so long but uh, the, the books in future schools what will happen with them the television screen has more than a million books on it and now also we are having the culture uh, we are having kindles we are having the habit of book reading on kindles and other platforms and uh, we can uh, Uh, have access of millions of books on television screens or on our laptops on our tablets on our mobiles so uh, this is the this is going to happen in the future also uh, so on and all this chapter gives a futuristic uh, uh, outlook what is going to happen in future uh, in this spe uh, specific field of uh, i would say uh, education that uh, the way or the pattern can be changed thoroughly so what is your opinion uh, comment me in the comment section what do you think about this chapter uh, what uh, uh, point of view or what kind of thinking you have after reading this chapter you can discuss with me and uh, you can tell me uh, in which topic you are getting problem uh, you are not able to understand so i can make videos on those topics If you are new to my channel, uh, do subscribe it, share it with your friends if you have liked this topic. Okay, uh, so keep watching my videos and uh, see the description box because uh, uh, you will see many of the things or many of the topics about this uh, chapter. The fun they had. I have uh, given the summary. I have uh, discussed the extract based questions. and uh, after that uh, i have uh, given the difference between uh, human teacher and mechanical teacher so many of the things are there so uh, go there uh, 
click on the link buttons and see all the videos which are given in the playlist okay till then we meet again bye bye